So we started actually back in high school, it was 2013. Uh, me and a buddy who was originally in this band is no longer in this band. Uh, we're just jamming one time and just thought about starting a band. So we ended up adding Kyle. We played one show and then it kind of like fell apart. After we graduated in 2014, we, we picked it back up and we're like, hey, let's be a little bit more serious about it this time. Our first gig was June 1st of 2014 at three o'clock in the morning. We started out as just like playing covers, playing any show we could get. And then we just kind of have been carrying since. We've had members come in and out. Ben's been with us since 2015. Uh, Austin's been running sound for us since literally our second show. And then once our drummer, whose name is Brian, ended up leaving, I called Austin like two minutes after that. And I was like, hey man, our drummer literally just quit. You wanna play drums for us? And he's like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> it's very much a collaborative process, even though it usually starts with like one person, but it ends up being kind of the group as a whole. The beauty of it is that we really do collaborate. Uh, Daniel and I approach the group with a song with a general idea of how it should go. And we'll have some parts written out, like certain harmonies and certain guitar parts, but we really give the other guys uh, free reign to add their own flavors. I usually like to come in with like riffs and lyrics and melodies and the chord progression, all that stuff. And then I just kind of bounce it off these guys and let them do their own things and come with other guitar parts, come up with drum parts, come up with bass parts and whatnot. Most of our songs are about women. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just the way it is being young guys and what's on our minds, at, at, at least mine. I pick up more of the themes from like the music and I think right now we're kind of just like experimenting like like we don't really hold ourselves to do like one genre of music you know we, we have no label we're not signed so we can just kind of do whatever we want and we use that opportunity to do whatever we want so we just write whatever songs we're feeling but one day we might do like a hard rock song or like an 80s song the next day we might do like a funk song or a hip-hop song I know that if I bring this song to the group and Ben lays down a guitar solo and Austin lays down drums it's still gonna become a beastly song if I had to pick my favorite venue to play it's Oscars every band tries to get in there sound guys great people show up to it and it's it's just so much fun to play there when it comes to like rock being dead or not I just think it's I don't like when they say that. I think it's more just like it changes over the years. Every single decade, rock and roll changes to something else. I think people mostly define it as being like 70s and 80s, but it hasn't uh -huh. sounded like 70s and 80s rock since the 70s and 80s. You know, 90s was the grunge, 2000s was more the pop punk, and now we're on kind of the indie rock stage, and who knows where the 20s yeah, will go. Maybe it'll be led by Beasley. <laughs>